Right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you are new to the channel, my name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. Now today you join me from my home here in the south of France. And in today's episodes, I'm gonna talk about my story from the beginning to where I am now, which is the captain on Motor Yacht AWOL, a 37 meter San Lorenzo SD built in 2009. Now I wanna start this vlog from the very beginning um, of my life, which was back in the mid 80s. I was born in Pembury in the UK, a place called Kent. And up until the age of nine, I was living in a town called Tunbridge Wells. And um, I had a normal upbringing, nothing special. Uh, in school, uh, I would say I was a bit of a daydreamer. <laughs> um, at my teacher parent meetings, my teacher said to my parents, you know, Tristan is a lovely, lovely boy, but he has no idea why he's here. Just always looking out the window and kind of daydreaming, really. So I was a bit of a dreamer as a kid. And then when I was nine, my parents took the decision to move the whole family from the UK to the south coast of Spain, to the Costa del Sol. Uh, so we moved there and then we integrated into the, the Spanish school. Uh, my brother and I, my brother's 20 months older than I am. I have another brother who's nine years older than I. And um, pretty much we were thrown in a deep end because not even the English teacher could speak English. So we went to the Spanish school and I have to say, I'll say within six, seven months, my brother and I were speaking pretty much fluent Spanish. We just absorbed the language very quickly. And then through from age of nine until maybe four years, so I was about 13, uh, we weren't really progressing in school. We weren't really, I didn't feel I was really fitting in. So my parents took a decision to move us to an international school, so an English speaking school in a place called Calahonda which is between two towns called Fengerode and Marbella, almost pretty much centered between the two of those. And I spent a further two or three years at school and never really succeeded, to be honest with you. I never, I never really engaged or were attracted to any of the subjects the school offered. Uh, I was useless at homework, I didn't study. Um, you know, I never, at that age, I was quite naive, so I never really understood why you got to study things you don't enjoy. You should do what you enjoy. Um, so really, um, at school, you know, average kid, uh, but never really succeeded in class, to be honest. And then at the age of 16, just turning 17, uh, came the summer of 2003. And I decided that I wanted to go and find a job for the summer. And I finished school, I think, on the Thursday. And on the Friday, I went to a company called Marina Marbella, which is a shipyard in the south coast of Spain. And I went there and I went to speak to them. I said, I'm looking for a job. I'll do anything you want me to do. And they said, great, the summer season is just kicking in. We need all the help we can get. Can you start on Monday morning? So by my surprise, I was like, fantastic. I've got a job starting Monday morning, absolutely brilliant. Yes, what am I gonna be doing? It said we need people to clean boats because we've got the, the season starting. I'm gonna get all our boats ready for the, uh, for the season, cleaned for our clients. I was like, absolutely fantastic. But let me go back a second. Um, so the person that suggested to me to, to go and find a job at Marina Marbella was actually my father. Uh, because the year prior, or two years prior it might have been, uh, we had bought, or my father bought a little 18 foot Sea Ray and um, we did, I was 15 I think, 15 or 16, we did uh, in the UK in Chichester uh, an RYA course uh, which I don't know if it longer exists anymore but it's called the ICC, the International Certificate of Confidence, which was a two day course and we went there, my father, my brother and I, and we, we completed the course that was pretty much the first course I've ever done related to, to the industry I'm working in now. I never knew at that stage that I would pursue a career in yachting. It was just a bit of fun and uh, you know to enjoy the boat that my, my dad had bought. So we had the Sea Ray and then we had it for a summer or two, had great fun, lots of fun. Then my dad said, go and see if you get a job at Marina Bear. So I went to Marina Bear, they offered me the job, absolutely fantastic. 
I turn up to work at quarter to nine on Monday morning and just kind of waiting around the boss to get all the all the work lists ready and in place and uh, he said uh, right you're gonna work with this chap over here he's gonna show you the ropes and you just follow his lead I was like brilliant fantastic so day one morning one in what is my now 16 years in the yachting industry I was cleaning a boat it was a Sea Ray, if I remember correctly, it was a Sea Ray 265 or Sea Ray 271 or the other. And uh, the boss comes over to me and he says, uh, Have you guys got a boat with us? I said, Yeah, my dad has got a Sea Ray 185. He's like, Okay, yeah, you're Richard Mortlock, so not. And I'm like, Yes, I am. Fantastic. He goes, Do you have a boat license by any chance? I was like, Yes, of course I do. He said, Do you have it with you here now? I was like, absolutely, I had it in my bag. So I pulled it out, he looked at it, he goes, absolutely fantastic, I wish you had told me earlier, I need people to move boats around, are you interested? So here I am, 16, 17 years old, cleaning a boat, and I have a chap asking me if I'm interested in moving boats around. I said, absolutely, no problem whatsoever. So he's like, fantastic, I need you to take this brand new, never driven before, C Ray 240, uh, it was, I believe it was a bow rider from Marbella to Porto Benus. Now, for, you, for those of you that know Porto Benus, Porto Benus is the equivalent to Saint Tropez in Spain. And he said, Can you do it? I was like, Absolutely. He goes, Great, here are the keys, take the boat to Porto Benus, berth it in berth number, whatever it was, and then once you've berthed up, put the covers on and then take the keys to our office there and sign the boat in your name and the date. I was like, absolutely no problem. At this stage, um, to be quite frank, I'd never driven at, um, a boat of that caliber before. Yes, I've driven my dad's uh, Sea Ray 185, but bear in mind it was a 10 year old boat. Um, it was dinged and scratched and uh, it was just a different level. So I was very nervous. I told the, my boss, no problem, I can handle it. But to be honest, I really had no idea what I was doing. But luckily it was a calm day. There was no wind and uh, untie the boat, managed to get off the dock, no problem. Now, as I was cruising out of the port, it was like glass. The sea was just like a mirror. So like any other 16, 17 year old would do, I was like, I'm gonna make the most of this. I took my shirt off, I cranked the radio up, and I just cruised all the way on my own from my bear to Port Venus. And I really, at that stage, I thought, this is absolutely incredible. And so I get into Port Venus, I find a berth, I managed to dock it okay, a bit dodgy, but there was no wind, so I managed to put it neutral and kind of pull myself in, because I wasn't really confident in maneuvering boats at that time. I tie it up the best I can and I turn the engine off, turn the battery isolator switch off, cover it up, give it a quick rinse and then um, head, take the keys into the office, sign the boat to meet the people in the office there, all very friendly and welcoming and so I said to her, who do I speak to now, what do I do next? They said, well you've got to wait for Mark's call and Mark is my boss. I was like, great, okay. So what I did in the meantime, they well, go around the port and go and introduce yourself to the guys. Like, no problem. So I walk around for half an hour, an hour, meeting all new people, learning the system, how they, how they, how they do things. And then I get a phone call from Mark, and he says to me, "Hey, Tristan, have you have you ever driven a jet ski before?" And I've never driven a jet ski in my life at this stage. And I said to him, yeah, absolutely, multiple times. Why do you ask? He was like, fantastic. I need you to bring a jet ski from Port Venus back to Marbella. We need to service it because the client is coming tomorrow. He said, go back to the office, get the keys to the jet ski. There's a bunch of life jackets at the back and then bring it as soon as you can back to, back to Marbella. <laughs> So I've never driven a jet ski at this, at this time. And so I go to the office, I grab the keys, I grab the jacket, I gotta sign the jet ski out. It was like in front of the office. 
and I had no idea how the keys to this thing worked. So I was looking around and it's like a, it, the keys are like almost like a plug that you put onto a nipple, so to speak. I couldn't work this out. And eventually I managed to like put two and two together. I was like, oh, okay. So I plugged it in. And I think with jet skis, as soon as you start them, they start moving and there's propulsion immediately. So I had no idea, so I started it and immediately the thing is driving forward. Luckily it was driving forward away from the dock. I was like, oh my God, what's going on here? No idea what's going on. No idea how to put neutral, reverse, what's going on. So I figured to myself, right, I'm untied. The jet ski's going forward. Let's just get out of the ports. And when there's a big open space, work out how everything works. Not the ideal scenario to do things, but this was the situation at the time. So I managed to get the jet ski out of the port, and by the time I'm out of the port, it takes a couple of minutes for me to work out. There's a little lever, you, put, you pull it back, goes into reverse. You can't, it's kind of a neutral, but not really. And there's like a, a throttle, and I think it was a, a finger throttle, not a thumb throttle, yeah, it's a finger, a finger throttle. Anyway, the sea is still flat calm. Uh, the jet ski is going back to the surface. So what am I going to do? I'm going to enjoy every moment this side is open up this jet ski and I bombed it back to um, back to my bear. And I get I get into the um, into the into the shipyard. The the crane is there waiting. We get them into the strap into the strops and they lift the jet ski up and put it on the hard standing, getting ready for a service. And so pretty much, you know, that was kind of my entry into yachting. A 16, 17 year old kid given the keys to a brand new Sea Ray to take to Port Bernouse, then given the keys to a jet ski that he's never driven before or have no experience of driving. And that was my first day at work for working Marina Bay.